Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock, and you're listening to my NHL Pulse of Wisdom. Utah Picks Edition. How are y'all doing out there, man? Kenny? Oh, look at Kenny doing the Perlo dance. Woo! Yeah! I'm not really in the Perlo dancing type of mood today, though. Because uh, I'm going to end up having to go to Perlo's house to spank him tomorrow. Probably here. Looks like it. Unless San Jose can really come back and do something. Uh, also, I need uh, I need the Coyotes to come back and score here. Um, or actually, you could stay under, and I'm still okay. It's not terrible, but I'm going to be down today. It looks like it. I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need Colorado to do come back from three to one in the third, and they don't look like they're going to do that. Oh, they just scored. Never mind, it's three two now. You never know; they just might be able to do it. And if it goes over, then all of a sudden I don't have to go to Perlo's house of spanking. So, but I'm going to anyways because it's fun. That's why I started it. That's why I don't like going to those generic spanking places. Do you? No. Like the Starbucks of spanking places, yeah. No, I don't. Not a big fan of that. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to be doing NHL picks for you. Uh, we got what five or six games on the slate here. You can see it in the background there. And then after that, we'll talk a little bit about the games from last night. And uh, I'll tell you about uh, the great show we have three to five Eastern daily, five days a week called the NHL Pearl of Wisdom Show. You can go do that. We do a whole bunch of picks for that, too. Uh, all the people in the land get together, and we all hold hands and pick who's going to win and what the score is going to be. And i got to go get myself a wig, apparently. Uh, I haven't had time to look at it today. i got to get a wig, and I'm supposed to wear it for a week or for a month. Because... That's what the winner got to do. They got to choose what I'm going to do for a month. So I got to find myself a wig somewhere. Anyways, uh, hit the subscribe. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Actually, how about you get a Perlo ring? I'm going to send you a Perlo ring if you subscribe today. Right to your door. Perlo copter right to your door. How's that for you? I know, right? Not everybody. It doesn't happen all every day. You get yourself a Perlo ring. Let's get to our picks. Uh, you know what? Oh, first we got a letter. Because there was nobody, not too many comments today in the comment section. I was a little, that's a little, uh, uh, did San Jose just scored? Never mind. Spankings it'll be. Although we did need the over two. Can't remember what, I think it was only for a unit. Okay. Uh, two, uh, Mushininsky, Mushininsky, Tua Mushininsky from Poland wrote, ever since I started using your show, uh, watching your show, I have put money on all your games and um, I have been able to pay off my mortgage. Uh, my, I found a man and we're going to get married. And all my dreams are coming true. Well, there you go. See, that's what you get here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. All your dreams can come true. Thank you, Tua, for Poland. That's great. So would you like all your dreams to come true? Then you can watch this next little bit where I tell you what all the picks are. Or you can go where all the dreams are over at my Patreon. But you go down in the Patreon app there, and uh, it'll be in the description. And you take the, the $25 tier, and I will give you a free month, and you can check it out for free. You can get all the frolic for free. And if you don't like it, you can stop anytime you want, although people generally don't do that. Okay, let's go look at our picks. Okay, we got right here. We'll do it from here for now, and then we'll go. Uh, Buffalo versus the Islanders, and uh, Buffalo beat the Islanders. All of these are back-to-backs, by the way. Every single game. 
This has got to be one of the first times ever. Every game is a back-to-back. -back. Uh, so I got Buffalo over the or Buffalo versus the Islanders. I got the Islanders winning this. Uh, are they going to win lose twice against the Sabers? The Sabers had a fellow last name is Hauser in net. Okay. He played in the ECHL last year. The Islanders lost to a team in the bottom of the league playing their third string goaltender who had never played an NHL game and had played most of his career in the ECHL, which is the third level of uh, hockey that you can play. So did I pick did I pick the uh uh, Sabres to win that game? No. No, I did not. And if you did, you are awesome. Because I don't know why you would ever think that the Sabres were going to win that game. That was about, what, a 5% chance Buffalo wins that game? Somewhere around there? Anyways, we also had the under, and I don't believe that came in either. So, yeah, it was 6-4-2. So, we lost. We lost. We lost like quite a bit there. Carolina versus Chicago. Now we had Carolina here. That was good. Um, I believe we had the under. We didn't get the under, but we had Carolina for big pearls. But tomorrow, now it gets interesting because Carolina is playing, I believe it was, it was five games in eight. This is six games in nine and a back to back against a Chicago team that should be putting Lankin in it. It should be Reimer. I'm going Chicago on the puck line here. So I'm going to go over to this. I'm going to go over to the actual thing. Uh, spread. PL. Puck line. Puck line means plus one and a half, if you don't know. I'm going to take the 183 on the puck line here. Chicago should be able to keep that game close. Carolina has got to be tired. I don't care how good your team is. You're playing six games in nine nights on a back-to-back. -back. The other team at least should be able to keep it close, especially with the Chicago's better goaltender. Now, I'm not huge on it, but I'm also not huge on taking uh, Carolina in regulation, and you're only getting 143 on the money line. So it's about a 50-50 chance that this is a one-goal game for Chicago. So I might as well take the better juice at 183, right? The better uh, odds at 183 where it gives me more money, right? So we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Boston versus New Jersey. Boston won last night. They're going to be playing the kid Swayman. New Jersey is going to be playing Black, uh, Blackwell. Is it Blackwell? Blackwood. Yeah, Mackenzie Blackwood. Right. Um, I still think Boston wins this game. I don't think it's going to be uh, a blowout by any stretch. Um, I'm going to lean the under here is probably the best play because you're not getting much juice on the money line, are you? And I'm up. I'm not doing anything other than money line in Boston here. You got two back-to-back -back teams. Mackenzie Blackwood's a good goaltender. New Jersey can keep it close when they want to, and they can certainly score. Um, I'm going to lean Boston money line. I know you're giving up a lot of juice, but uh, I don't. I'm not comfortable in taking New Jersey puck line either, because Boston on paper is just so much better than New Jersey that they could break it open. It's possible. So I'm going to take. Uh, you can go to opening and get 151 on Boston. That's beautiful right there. Um, that's what I would do. Go to the opening app, pick that up. Uh, last night, or the, tonight, or whatever you want to say. It's tonight right now. It'll be last night maybe when you watch this. The third. Uh, Philadelphia beat Pittsburgh with Lion in net. 7-2. I don't get it. <laughs> I didn't watch the game hardly. Uh, I don't know what happened. DeSmith obviously had a really bad night. That happens. Low percentage chance that's happening? For sure. 
Uh, I'm going back to Pittsburgh, though. I'll take him on the money line. That, I assume that was just voodoo. Going Pittsburgh, money line, and going back to... Oh, yeah, I'll go back to the over. I did have the over in that game, and I made some money back on the over. Um, in fact, I believe it was a wash. I had large on that. So, that's right. It was a wash. Um, the Van, Edmonton, Vancouver... Edmonton just won against Vancouver. We had that. That was my pick of the night. And the reason why I'm only down about maybe a unit, because we had five big ones on that. Five big ones on Edmonton ML is my pick of the night. My pick of the nights usually come in pretty well. If you just play my pick of the nights, you'll be up quite a bit for sure. Um, but it could be a close game. Edmonton's not a good tired team. And they're playing on a back-to-back. -back. The thing is, is Vancouver is eternally tired right now. Uh, and they're playing on a back-to-back. -back. Demko will be in net. I think this is going to be a tired leg type of game. It'll be under. Under six for sure. Yeah, under six. And I'm going to stick with Edmonton money line. I'm almost tempted to take Vancouver on the spread here. Yeah, 169. Nah, I'm going to take Edmonton money line. I just, I, Vancouver is already tired and now they're playing a back to back. Uh, yeah, they're tired because they had COVID and all that kind of stuff like that. And every game they pooch out in the third. It's almost not fair. It's almost not fair. And they even vocalized and said that it didn't seem right to them. So, anyways, I went over a lot of the games from last night in here because they're all back-to-back. -back. So I'd like to know if that's the first time that every game uh, the next night has been a back-to-back. -back. Really weird. Tough to cap as well. Um, so if that's what you wanted the picks, you go off into other lands and check that out. I'm going to quickly go over to the games we didn't get to from the third those are all for the fourth uh yeah kings we lost we did have the under we broke even on that we had the under and the yotes and they were both for medium pearls so pretty much down about a half a unit uh like i said the oilers this was our big play we had the under here we lost a little bit on the under but our big play was Oilers, money line. In fact, it might have been in reg. What did I do for my... This is my... No, I don't want new published. Perlo's pick of the day. Oh, it was in reg. Woo! Right on. So that was five, five pearls we made there. Lost a half a pearl on the under. So four and a half pearls. That's what saved us right there. That's what saved me right there. Uh, this is not going to happen. I got avalanche and reg. I do have the over. So we're, oh, look at that. The avalanche has scored. You never know. The avalanche could come back here. Oh, I just watched it right now. Land, Land of Skog Pots one. Come on, Colorado. Seriously. Come back and win this, and then I don't have to go to the house of spanking tomorrow, although I still will. Um, Panthers 5 4, we had that, we had the under. That was what screwed us up there. No, no, that's right. We had more on the over uh, on there, so we're up a little bit there. My day might not have been as bad as I thought. Um, we had the, oh yeah, we had the uh, Islanders and the under on this. That was poopy. We had the Bruins puck line for large and the under here. So that was good. We had the Capitals and the over here, but it was only for one unit. So right now we're even until you get to this poopy little play. What in the world happened? How does Pittsburgh lose to Alex Lyon of the Philadelphia Flyers? He's a terrible goaltender. Uh, I'm going to have to ask people that watched it what happened there. Uh, DeSmith obviously crapped the bed. Um, Flyers win 7-2. Didn't see that coming. I did have the over, though. 
So I'm only down like two units. This might have been a better day than I thought. I had the Hurricanes. And I believe I had, oh yeah, I had the over. Good there. I had the Predators and the under. And that so that was pretty much a wash. Um, we had the Leafs for large. And over. Bad, bad. So I'm down about three units. Yeah, I had the Jets. Yeah. And the under, though. So not bad. Uh, we had the Ducks PL, but bigger. our biggest bet was the under. And then we had the Wild for large pearls and the over. I wasn't. If San Jose comes through, I'm, I'm going to almost be even or a little bit up. I'm not even that bad. Wow. Anyways, if you guys like to uh, go to uh, Perlo's House at Spanking, it's the best there. I said it. It's just down the street, wherever you live. You'll find one. There's one on every corner. Yeah. It's like a 7-Eleven or whatever those things are that you call them there. Your convenience stores. It's like that. There should be one. Just drive around. Ask, ask your neighbors. Just go to your neighbors and say, Where, where's the Perlo's House at Spanking around here? And they'll know. For sure they'll know. Okay, where am I going here? Um, now, those are the games. I guess I'm going to go. That's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. Put those bets in. And let's frolic together tomorrow as well, could you? Come and join me. Comment in the comment section, if you will. There was, like, no comments hardly. We had Sanders saying hi and... Then Kenny came and told me he couldn't be on my show. And that was cool. It must be Monday. Everybody's busy. Whatever. You know? So get your pens out, your protractors and everything, and figure out what you're going to tell me in the comment section. Okay? Okay. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.